The story begins with Princess Marjorie, the only daughter of Robert the Bruce, the renowned Scottish monarch. In 1316, Princess Marjorie married Walter, High Steward of Scotland, giving rise to the lineage of the royal Stuarts. As part of her marriage settlement, she received lands in Renfrewshire, known as Terry de Marori, later transforming into Marjorie Banks. The name, pronounced March Banks, carries a unique charm, encapsulating the familial ties that would shape generations to come. Nisbet, a heraldic expert, asserts that the Marjorie Banks family's coat of arms provides a bridge to their heritage. Incorporating a gold cushion and a star, this heraldic representation carries subtle connections to the Johnston Lords of Annandale. The presence of three gold cushions in the Johnston coat of arms and the star symbolizing a sparrow, a significant emblem for Lord Annandale, paints a vivid portrait of ancestral bonds. Fast forwarding to the early 16th century, the Marjorie Banks family gains prominence as Thomas Marjorie Banks of that ilk is appointed as an advocate before the Lords of Session. In a testament to their public-spirited nature, Thomas accepts the role of advocate for the pure, representing the poor with dedication. This devotion leads him to become the Lord Provost of Edinburgh in 1540, advocating for the city in Parliament. The Marjorie Banks family flourishes over time, with various branches making significant contributions to Scottish society. Notable figures like Sir Dudley Marjorie Banks, later Baron Tweedmouth, leave their mark as members of Parliament and holders of prestigious titles. Edward Marjorie Banks, First Lord of the Admiralty and a Knight of the Thistle, adds to the family's legacy as a dedicated public servant. The family's legacy extends to places like Northfield House, adorned with historical wall and ceiling decorations, and to Alexander Marjorie Banks, who surrenders his baronial rights for the establishment of Bathgate as a borough. Ministers of religion and scholars further the Marjorie Banks legacy, ultimately leading to William Marjorie Banks' ecological work on conservation projects in Sudan.